Hey everybody, this is Captain Kyle. I'm here at RetroCon as Q with Dwight Schultz, a very talented actor who's been many things. He's well known for Star Trek The Next Generation, The A-Team, Voyager, and even Stargate. How are you enjoying the con? Mm, well, I'm having a good time. This is a very lovely con. It's a uh, sort of a family con. It's small but busy. I really like I've had a very nice time. That is great to hear, yes, and I'm sure the, the showrunners will be happy to hear that you had a good time. They're, yes. they're big fans of your work. Oh, they're lovely. They're very lovely. Too lovely. It's just, it's difficult. Some, it, this whole thing, I don't understand. I never have, even though I've attend, I attend them. I, I don't understand um, autographs and memorabilia. Uh, I only have one autograph, Lawrence Olivier. I, I sent him a dollar when he was building the National Theater in Great Britain, and he sent me a lovely little letter and, with an autograph, and I did put it up on the wall. But, you know, it's a very strange thing that people want your signature and want to meet you. I mean, it's, uh, it's humbling. It's very humbling. Well, well, you seem like a nice fellow, so I'd like to meet you. Go out maybe <laughs> to the bar, hang out, you know? Well, that, that, that has been uh, one of the great things uh, about coming to these conventions. I was warned, oh, the fans are crazy and blah, blah, blah. But they're not. They were uh, going out for a drink afterwards. Sometimes you found the most interesting people, especially what they did. You know, you, you scientists and doctors and um, uh, people who make things, actually make things for a living. And you have some wonderful conversations uh, late at night. So uh, I found the fans to be particularly wonderful. Yeah. And I'm sure the fans have found you to be wonderful. Now, since you go to a lot of cons, you look around, you see some people, they're not dressed normally. They're kind of, they're in costumes. <laughs> they're cosplayers. Yeah. What do you think of these cosplayers? Well, you know, it's, um, it's sort of like Halloween at your choosing. You know, you want to you wanna dress up. I, I, I mean, I, as an actor, I wore Elizabethan wardrobe uh, for like seven months straight and never put a suit on again afterwards. Uh, but, I mean, uh, you know, I can see doing it once in a while and why people want to. I mean, I, I loved it in the theater. I loved putting on wardrobe and new costumes. Um, so I understand why people do that, yeah. Now, if you were to come to one of these conventions, not as a guest but as an attendee, and just decide to put on a costume, what would be your dream costume? My dream costume? Boy, um, well, I always like to be completely hidden. So I, I guess, uh, and I've seen a few uh, robotic characters, you know, something that totally obliterates humanity <laughs> so that nobody would know who is inside. That, that, that would be my choice. A particular robot or just any robot that happened to be around? Any good-looking robot. <laughs> There are some bad-looking robots, and I, I would shy away from them. You know, I have a little bit of, just a little tiny bit of taste, you know. So or vanity. A vanity is a good word. That's a good word. <laughs> well, that is great to hear. Are you working on anything new? I know you've had a, you've been in all kinds of things. I saw you in Stargate. It was amazing. You were very Q-like in Stargate. Yeah, it was Q. Well, that, that was a long time ago, but I've been doing um, mostly almost entirely voiceovers of video games hundreds of roles in video games and the problem is you can never tell anybody what you've been doing for about three years because you sign non-disclosure agreements but i can say that the latest game that i can talk about has just been released shadow of war which is an extension of lord of the rings and i'm an orc and uh um I've, it's two 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 games now that i've been this orc is the clever orc but now in this episode, in, in this game, he also sings. So he's a singing orc. And that's been particular. That was a lot of fun. Hard on the voice, but a lot of fun. Well, I, I almost hate to ask, but <laughs> what does a singing orc sound like? Could you give us just a snippet? Uh, no, 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 no. It's, I, it's, it's a memory I want to forget, actually, because <laughs> it was painful to, to an extent. Because, you know, orcs are very, very gravelly, and it's very guttural and um, very low-class British. But um, uh, he, it was actually, it was an orc singing madrigals. Okay. So I, I'll go that far as to tell you what to expect. So madrigal singing as an orc. 
So check out Shadows of War so you can have him sing to you as an orc. As, that's right. And die many times and kill you many times. So I'm, I'm ruthless. Ruthless. A ruthless musical orc. That is... <laughs> that, and think about that. If you're an actor, you couldn't ask, what would you like to do? A ruthless musical orc. <laughs> it's the role of a lifetime. A role of a lifetime. Uh, yes. So where can people find you on social media to follow what you can talk about? Uh, social media, I personally uh, removed myself from social media when other people pretended to be me on social media. And I had a hard time removing them. Uh, both, uh, both on Twitter and, um, uh, uh, but yeah, Facebook. Uh, but I have a fan club, and that is my presence on social media. The Dwight Schultz fan club. It's out of the Netherlands, and um, Claudia and Ingeborg run it beautifully, and I'm indebted to them because they are lovely, lovely, lovely people. But think about it. They're in the Netherlands, and I have a fan club there, and it's uh, they're lovely ladies. I love them. Do they have a website that you can give us, or should we look it up for you? Uh, I, info at Dwight Schultz dot, uh, NL. That's it. Uh, um, but it's... Um, uh, you'll find it. You know, if you put Dwight Schultz fan club on Google, it'll come up. Yeah. That is awesome. So... What's your favorite voice? What char favorite character to voice? Wow, um, you know that's a hard one because, uh, I, especially in the world of video games, I've been able to do that's well, something I couldn't do in film, which is play every kind of villain. Every I, I'm an Anglophile, so I love doing British dialects uh, of every variety. Uh, when I was about twelve or thirteen years old, I. Uh, I became enamored of Richard Burton's voice, and I put headphones on, and his voice came out of my head for a year, and then it finally came out of my mouth. But I, so, uh, but he's everybody that I did an impression of has now passed away, so uh, don't ask me to do an impression of what you. Uh, but uh, um, Richard Burton was perhaps uh, I, I I think the the most in his, Welsh. And he's very and also Anthony Hopkins. I saw him on Broadway, very similar to Richard Burton. That is the Welsh. And I don't do dialects. I do people who do the dialect. And um, so any any Anglophile, any British dialect, uh, I, I I love. That's uh, and and when I meet someone who has that off the off the beaten road dialect, I usually pick it up. So um, so, but I have no favorite favorite. You know, thing. I, I love doing things at the moment. If you were speaking, if you had a Dutch dialect, this was talking to me like this. I, I would uh, love that. I will try to uh, do the Dutch yes. accent. That's very good, you know. And you have to do the lilt, and you get into it. And um, you know, I love that sort of thing. It's uh, it just comes something that comes to mind. Uh, that's it. Yeah, I enjoy doing the British, but I get strange looks, though. <laughs> well, you know it. I just heard um, on a podcast called 20,000 Hertz. Uh, it's, it's, it's a podcast about sound. And uh, they, they just did a, a special on dialects in the United States and where they came from. And it was fabulous to hear what we would, the British, uh, in the day of Shakespeare, the days of Shakespeare, what the dialect was like. Nothing like the king's english british nothing at all like you know you there's nothing perfect you know the british dialect today is very special no, no hard r's but they had a very hard r and it was very much like north country and so all of these plays that you hear with very pristine british style was very much like a north country hard hard r sound to it and to hear these experts Read Shakespeare with that. It's, it, it, it changes you. And they explain where the, where the Brits came in, uh, where the Irish came in, where the Scots came in, and how all of these sounds came together. It's really fascinating. So it's a podcast called 20,000 Hertz. You might find it interesting to listen to. It definitely sounds like a cool one. Yeah, yeah you will love it. You will love it. So we have some three rather odd questions. Are you ready? You said nothing personal now, dear. I, I've got you. I'm, I'm putting you to it. 
Nothing too personal. But, but here's one. What is your favorite ice cream flavor? Oh, I, I'm afraid I'd have to say mint chocolate chip. You'd be in good company. Others have said that. Yes, I'm, I'm afraid I have to say it. I'm a bit banal. Yes. Mine's French vanilla, which is even more banal. Oh, that's very banal. <laughs> So you're much more interesting. Vanilla. <laughs> Vanilla. <laughs> right. Okay, second question. If you could travel in time and visit any era, just, just for a while, you wouldn't have to stay there and get, you know, diseased, but, but to live just for a little while in an era, where would you go to? Did you see the movie Lucy? I did see the movie Lucy. And remember the, when, when the primitive human started drinking water. I would like to be there at the, at the instant humanity was created, whether it was through evolution or devolution or infringement. I want, I want to be there when the human being was created. That's where I would like to be, wherever that is in time. Very well. I am Q. We will, after this interview, we'll now go. You should be able to tell me that, right? Of course, but I'd, la I'd rather have you see it for yourself. We're going we're gonna to go after this. Yes. All right, and your third and final question. If, if your life had a theme song, what would that theme song be? Oh, uh, I want to be happy. I want to be happy. I hope you're happy too. Hey. That is a great theme song. That is wonderful. So thank you so much. Thank you. My pleasure. Did you say thank you? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone... Wait a minute. Did you hear that laugh? Do that laugh again. <laughs> no, that's not what you just did. Oh, ho, ho. I, I would have to... It was very spontaneous. So, uh, well, so, so you heard it. Do the laugh and I'll do it again. You will hear it. Unless you... <laughs> <laughs> was it that? No. I can laugh all kinds of ways. Oh, you hear that laugh. Ah. Have I, have I made you just a little self-conscious now? Not really. All right. Well, that's it. I, I do some acting myself. You can't be self-conscious as an actor. Blue eyes. Blue eyes. People with blue eyes make it in movies. People with brown eyes are counter-heroes, you know, anti-heroes. Do you ride a horse? I do not. Uh, well, you won't be a movie star either. I, I knew when I got on a horse and couldn't ride it, I would never be a movie star. It's one of those things you learn. You know, so, my blue eyes gives you a shot. all right, my blue eyes. See, so if you, anyone out there with blue eyes, you have a shot, yes. according to Dwight. Yes. There you go. But horse riding is key. I'll, I'll get right on a horse. <laughs> Might not be a real horse. Well, uh, it's got to be real. Not a wooden like. No, you've got to be able to get on that horse and gallop. I'll work on that and probably die, and and it'll be all your fault. If that happens, then I'm sorry. <laughs> This is one of the longest outros you've ever done. Okay. <laughs> everyone, thanks for watching. Thank you. And uh, everyone, have fun. And you. And cosplay on. Yeah. Hi. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and share. And we love to read your comments. Don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell icon to get notifications of our new videos. Thanks again, and we'll see you on the con floor.